Um, ahoy. As we all know, I work at a guitar shop. Uh, sorry, nobody knows that. And uh, furthermore, nobody cares. So anyways, people come in a lot looking for guitars. And um, I have things to say. I have the final opinion, the final say in this matter. And so I thought that I would do the world a solid and set the record straight. This is the ultimate guitar tier list, solid body electric guitar. It's not biased at all. This is based on fact. Let's begin. Up first, we have the D'Angelico. Sorry, Dan Electros. Oh my God. The reason that I think Dan Electros are mad cool is because Dave Bailey plays one. The Dan Electros. <laughs> Oh yeah, so they did make them for Sears. I'm gonna slide you right up to the bees, honestly, because Dan Electros have three lipstick pickups. They're not that expensive. The thing about Dan Electros is that they're really groovy looking. Like, they're very wavy. And I'm not super into the that. The disco groovy wave. Like, I'm into it, but I'm not gonna play that, probably. I'm probably not gonna do that. D'Angelico. So this is the Bob Weir D'Angelico, this image. Um, and I chose it because I've played that particular guitar. I'll say about D'Angelico's, I think that their headstock is elite. This bit right here is based off of the Chrysler building. So extra, it's so like, <laughs> so regal and like, Expensive looking. Oh my god, we have the EVH. Um, okay, I'm gonna put it at A. Okay, I have to do that because it's one of a kind. Handmade, handcrafted. I've never obviously played one, but like it's Eddie Van Halen. How am like, I gonna rank that low? You know what I mean? It like, is like less cool if like you play one because he literally made that. He literally made that guitar. It's such a nice tribute, but it can never be your guitar you know it's very much a soul match it's like a wand like picking a guitar is like picking a wand at Ollivander's it's like the guitar chooses you your soul sort of connects with the guitar there's this energy trade off anyways explorer look are you guys gonna be mad if I put this down here I don't care I don't I've never played it this is weird the edge plays it I know that it looks ridiculous you know what? it's actually not it's actually kind of cool. No, no, no. It's like going like this. Like what? I don't care. No. And look, oh my god. And don't even get me started on that. I'm not even ranking that shit. Blech. Next. Oh, I guess I am. Oh, you can't even see this picture. Oh, fuck. It got cut off. That's a flying V. Not inverted, thank god, but it is a flying V. Let's see if I can just... What the? This is that. Look, what am I supposed to do here? Cave? Cave in? No, I won't. I won't. Here's the thing, right? Like this is exactly what I'm talking about where it's like your favorite player is going to make that guitar cool. Obviously, Jimi Hendrix makes that guitar cool. He could make, yep, that's, this is exactly what I was looking for. He could make this cool. Okay, it's a fucking toilet lid guitar. No, I'm not comparing a flying V to a toilet. Mm hmm. I don't know about all that. They're kind of cool. One of my coworkers did say this thing is the shit. Okay, what's this? Oh, the Harmony Rebel. Okay, yo. Look, this is going up high. They're really nice guitars. We carry harmonies in the shop. They use like gold foil pickups. Rosewood fretboard. The balance is a little stupid. The body is kind of small, so. But they're really nice to play. I think I just really like rosewood fret fretboards. I think that they're just like, Something about them is so solid in your hand. I don't know how to explain it. It's just different than a maple. It has depth and heft. Oh, the Jag, bro. All right, the Jag. Ooh, I'm so tempted to put it up here. I'm just gonna do it because you know what? Wait. I don't know, dog. The Fender Jaguar was the last attempt. It didn't really take off. Nobody was really playing it. It was adopted by the underground punk scene or whatever. It was meant for jazz players, I think, or at least it was sort of modeled after a jazz master. It's got the offset body. But it's not so offset that it looks like this. Bands used to buy their instruments like as a set. So like they all had matching instruments and matched their like outfits and shit. And that's an interesting concept to me because I'm obviously not from that era. Fuck. No, that's just cool. Do you see that like how the edge is a chrome? Yeah, so I like how they do this pick guard where the middle is, you know, whatever. And then the outside is chrome. But look at all these different options. You've got this like rhythm and lead switch. You can dial in tone and volume for these pickups. Um, tone and volume for the back. Okay, I don't even know all the shit you can do. I, I keep learning and forgetting. There's so much. More options is not always better, but like not necessarily worse. Let's fall custom. Fine, I'm gonna put it on the A. 
Um, I think they're fucking heavy, and you can't deny that. I don't care how good they play, I don't care the history of them, I don't care how well they're made, their innovation, lore and appeal, I don't care, they're heavy. Okay, this PRS Custom, C for custom. I personally don't think it's a very cool name, PRS. No offense to Paul Reed Smith, but uh, it just doesn't sound like a cool guitar brand, and uh, for that reason, uh, it's stupid. I do like the birds on the fretboard, that's a solid touch. I like the way they do their paint jobs. Oh, not Santana, although... That's obviously a win for them to have Santa. Like, okay, see, I like this shit, how it looks like the ocean. I'm into that. Okay, the Rickenbacker. I'm sorry, but look at that thing. It looks like a whale. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh, Schechter. All right, Schechter. Look, I'm not a metalhead. I'm just not of that world. You won't catch me playing one. Maybe you will. I like the ones that are kind of like... Spooky. Like, I like a... A spooky Schecter. Gibson SG. Look, I'm gonna put it at C, and here's why. I did go through a sort of like moment of being like, the SG is so cool. The SG is the coolest. I want an SG, I have to play an SG. And then I just absolutely flipped up. I was like, what the fuck was I thinking? Uh, makes no sense to me. I don't even know why that even happened. This is a PRS over Sky. <sighs> B. C. 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 B. Let me just put it in B just so that that can look like that for uh, just a second. I feel so bad putting the flying V down there. Like, I'm such an asshole. And honestly, I should probably put the rigging backer there and the flying V up here. And that is the way that should be. Hey, look, the thing about the PRS Silver Sky is that I don't care. Yes, it is as good as everyone says. I have heard from many personal accounts that these guitars are are just so good and you don't even want them to be and they totally are. So what am I supposed to do? I can't really get around that. I can't. When you do a good job, you deserve the cred. All right, what's this? Oh, this is the Island as Steve Vai guitar. Okay, I'm putting it at a B. You can't even see that. I wanted to put an Island as guitar in there and I just chose to put Steve Vai's because it's so pretty and cool. Well, okay, so here's the thing why I included it is because I always found it interesting that this guitar was not more popular. I think Steve Vai is an extremely influential player. I'm sure you have an idea of who Steve Vai is. You have an idea of his play. You've just like seen Crossroads. I, and I fall into the category with Steve Vai where like, I don't, I don't listen to his music, but I do watch all of his videos. Like I watch all of his lessons. I, I have his, guitar method book. not only how he plays but how he practices very influential to me why i get so confused about why this guitar is not more popular is because i think that the guitar that steve vibe chooses is the best guitar <laughs> you know what i mean like that man practiced for 25 hours a day he channels something when he plays he is one with his hand he is one with the music i just would assume that he would have a much more profound impact on people's choice of guitar but it's just not that popular and the neck, like this, this beautiful like fretboard and the cutout, like I don't know, it just, I don't know why it just isn't more popular. I'm just putting it in a B, cause like, what, I don't know. I sort of say the best for last, you know what I mean? Defender Stratocaster, whoops, sorry. That's not what I meant. I want to put it at S so bad, but I'm just gonna put one up there and you already know what it is. I'm put, shit. There's a m point in my life where I would have put the Strat as S. Probably just because they both start with S. Everyone plays a fucking Strat. I love the Strat. I play a Strat. Everyone can play a Strat. Strats are so versatile. Strats can do everything. When you think of an electric guitar, you you think of a Stratocaster. If you were to just draw a guitar, like you're probably gonna draw a Strat. <laughs> There's nothing a Strat can't do. I don't know. Like, okay, they can't be quiet, but <laughs> Strats are sexy. I love Strats. Fender Telecaster, I'm putting on top. <laughs> and here's why. Uh, I play a Tele now. But I don't play a Fender Telly. I have a different brand. Uh, Tellys are the OG. Like, they're the first shape, really. Tellys have a certain appeal to them that is sort of mysterious. Because it's like, they're not the most versatile guitar. They are not the most comfortable to play. Uh, a lot of Tellys are actually kind of hard to play. Like, with a Strat, even a cheap Strat isn't exactly fighting your hand. Tellys fight. So I don't even know why I put it up there, to be honest. I. It's literally because I play one. Fine, I'm putting the Strat up there. The Strat is God. Yeah, the Tele is the old cool thing in the corner wearing a leather jacket that's just like above everyone. Eyes cutting through the crowd like lasers. Tele just has this undeniable appeal, like sex appeal, that I am not immune to. And if you're being honest, you know what I mean. That is 
my tier list. I feel good about that. This is the only tier list that makes any sense. Um, it's based on fact. It is based on... Um, fact. You can't really argue with that, so don't even try. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye-bye.